I welcome you all to this special summit on the TSAP sector reforms in the beautiful county of Kiricho, the country's leading producer of tea. The agriculture sector contributes 22% to our national gross domestic product, with the tea subsector accounting for 2%. With over 650,000 growers spread in 18 counties, Kenya is a leading global producer and exporter of various types of tea, with black tea accounting for at least 95% of the sold crop. Over the years, tea has earned the country foreign exchange. For instance, in 2022, the subsector recorded 20.9%, the highest foreign exchange earnings of 163 billion due to competitive export prices. This was an increase from 130 billion Kenya shillings registered in 2021. This is in spite of the low production across the country as a result of prolonged drought. Distinguished farmers and delegates, tea posted positive results despite geopolitical and internal instabilities in major markets like Russia and Pakistan. The price of 100 kg bag of tea increased to 29,000 Kenya shillings in 2022 from Kenya shillings 23,000 the previous year. That is an increase of about 294 shillings per kilo. Apart from expansion of the existing market, the demand has been on the rise. That is why Pakistan, for instance, imported 20.6% more tea than in the previous year of 2021. Besides keeping traditional markets such as Egypt, United Arab Emirates and the United Kingdom, Kenya made more inroads in Africa. It was among first member states parties to trade in tea under the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement with Ghana. Distinguished farmers, the international market size for tea remains healthy. It is projected to grow to six points by up to 6.7% by the year 2031, exceeding 93.2 billion US dollars. Consumption of black tea alone, which Kenya produces most, is expected to grow by over 2% in the next decade. Despite the current stable and favorable market, our smallholder tea farmer remains at the bottom of the pyramid. The farmer is pressed by high cost of production. They also bear the burden of huge operational costs. In spite of Kenya producing distinct flavors of tea, the market does not take care of the best interests of the farmer. The farmer has no power to determine the price, yet this is a much sought commodity across the globe, even when sold in raw form. In other words, the farmer who puts most efforts earns the least. In simple terms, the pyramid is inverted Again, is the farmer. The farmer is struggling economically. Distinguished farmers and delegates, that is why we are here today. President William Ruto, in executive order number one, 2023, tasked me with the responsibility to lead public reforms in the tea, coffee, and dairy subsectors which are priority areas in which we want the smallholder farmer to earn something commensurate to their sweat and effort. As we settle down for this summit, the president expects lasting results. This will feed into the Kenya Kwanzaa plan of value addition to the tea, which will multiply the earnings of our farmer. Currently, up to 95% of our tea is exported in raw form. This means farmers do not get maximum value for their sweat. In addition, we want our farmers to earn more from specialty tea. This is how we will stabilize and strengthen our economy, promoting a strong tea brand internationally. As I conclude, for the record, I wish to state that President William Ruto and I have zero vested interest in the tea subsector. And that is why these reforms will succeed, because there will be no conflict of interest.
Sisi usiana wetu na chai na rais ni ile tu iko kwa kikombe peke yake. Hatuna interest ingine. We only want the farmer to thrive. I therefore invite you to an open, candid and highly consultative dialogue. Let us explore lasting legal, policy, administrative and operational strategies of returning the tea money to where it belongs, to the farmer. Kwa hivyo wakulima, nataka ni mkaribishi hapa, kiricho. I want to give you an undertaking from Kericho on behalf of my boss, President William Ruto, that the reforms we are going to agree on, our two houses of parliament where we have the majority, the Senate and the National Assembly will make the various amendments into law. Thereafter, the President and I and the ministers responsible will ensure a hundred percent compliance with the law. This is part of our bottom up economic transformation agenda. So I want to invite you to be very honest and brutally truthful. Pali unajua hiko shida useme. Usiposema leo ukimye milele. This is the last conversation we are going to have about this tea. We cannot every year tunaongea nini nini. Museme leo. Mutasema? Eh? Hey. Wale wananyasa nyinyi. Wale wanaumisa nyinyi. Pali munajua pesa na potea. It is the time to say today. And I want to assure you, like we did in Kofi, ile yote mutasema, tutarekebisha sheria, na rais na mimi na waziri tutafuatilia, it will happen. I want to tell the people who are here, in all the sectors, KTDA, T-Board, Nani, Nani, it's not business as usual. And these two days here is not a joke. And everybody will have to align. Even as we make the amendments, from Monday we'll enforce the Tea Act that, that is presently in place. We'll enforce. So the Tea Act will be implemented as it is, as even we seek amendments. Because already Senator Chiriot and the Parliament did a good job. And if that thing had been implemented, we will be 50% successful we will be dealing with the remaining 50%. So, even as we listen to you and we get our two houses to implement what you recommend here, we'll first implement what is in place so that what we're on